So, you know, I was like on Pinterest one day and I saw this idea of the, um, the salad in the mason jar with the dressing at the bottom and I was like, oh my goodness, this is genius. This will solve all of my problems. Hey guys, it's Leah and today we're gonna be making a mason jar salad. So this is really, really cool and also super cute. Like I love the look of it. Um, but these are great for lunch because you know how when you take a container of salad to work or a school and your dressing makes your lettuce all like soggy and I don't know, it just doesn't taste the greatest, right? But this prevents your lettuce from getting all wet and soggy, so it's perfect. And then when you get to work, you just pour it into a bowl and all your salad is ready to go. So it's actually a really super cute um, idea. And you can even just eat it out of here too. If you just shake it up, your dressing will go all over, uh, wet your lettuce, wet your tomatoes and all that lovely stuff. And you guys can have it for breakfast, or not for breakfast. I guess you can have salad for breakfast too if you want, but you can have it for lunch, for dinner, anything like that. And it's a ready to go meal. And yeah, this is one of my favorite salad recipes. It's just like regular like romaine lettuce with tomatoes, cucumbers, chickpeas, and uh, Italian balsamic dressing. Um, so we're gonna be making this type of salad in this video, but I'm just gonna show you guys like how you would put it into the container. You can put any other ingredients you want in it. Um, like when you're making it, but this is just like my favorite salad. Uh, sometimes I throw in some chicken if I want to make it like frisky, but that's totally up to you guys, like some bread of Jane's chicken. Okay guys, so things you will need. Uh, you will need some lettuce, uh, half a cucumber, half of a tomato, some chickpeas, one jar, a mason jar, so this is just a regular jar and it has uh, the screw on lid with the this part, this little part on top here. Uh, and now for the dressing, you'll need salt, oregano, garlic powder, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. I already pre-washed everything, so the lettuce, the tomato, and the, um, the cucumber are all washed already. So if you guys wanna go ahead and do that, wash your ingredients, and then we can start putting it all together into the mason jar. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start by, by cutting our tomatoes. So usually I just cut them in pieces like this and then I cut those pieces in half so there'll be pieces like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with my whole tomato here or my half a tomato cut and cut okay so my tomato is all cut and ready to go into the jar okay so now for my cucumber I usually cut my cucumber in half first so like this and then so it's in two pieces and then I gather both of them and I just cut them into slices so now I'm just going to use my can opener and open my can of chickpeas going to strain those because they are full of water and put them in a little bowl. Okay and now that I have all of my solid ingredients ready I'm just going to slide it up here and now we're going to work on our salad dressing. Balsamic vinegar, extra original oil, garlic powder, oregano, and some salt. Okay so first we're going to pour some olive oil in to our salad dressing here and next we are going to put some balsamic vinegar so this one is the Mastro's balsamic vinegar and I'm just going to pour in enough so there's like an even or you know there's not too much vinegar but there's not too much oil either I'm going to put some garlic powder so I'm just gonna open this up and I don't want to make it too garlicky so I usually just put a couple little sprinkles of garlic powder in there next I take my oregano and I'm just going to pour some oregano into my salad dressing and now to finish it off we're just gonna add some salt to our salad dressing mixture 
Okay, so now I have my salad dressing mixture. So first we're gonna put in our salad dressing. So the salad dressing always goes in first because uh, the liquid stays at the bottom and stops the rest of the salad from coming out soggy. So we always put our liquid at the bottom. Um, so the dressing will stay at the bottom. I'm gonna give that a nice little swirl just so it's all mixed up. And next we're gonna put in our protein. So either, uh, so in our case we use chickpeas, but um, you can also use nuts or any other type of protein. So I'm gonna put some chickpeas in. Now the reason why we put in chickpeas next is because they won't soak up too much of the dressing and they won't get soggy. Okay, I'll put a couple more. All right, next we're gonna put in anything else that we don't really want to get wet, um, but it's okay if it does. We're gonna put in our cucumbers because these are the less, the least um, like wet out of the vegetables, like the, the tomatoes are more wet. So I'm just gonna put in some cucumbers. Okay, now I'm gonna put my tomatoes. So I have a couple handfuls of tomatoes here. I'm just gonna drop those ones in. So the tomatoes are all in now. And now, just to finish it off, I'm gonna fill up the rest with my lettuce. And the lettuce goes at the top because it stops it from getting soggy. I kind of filled it up a little too much with cucumbers, <laughs> but it's okay because I love cucumbers. But you guys can add less cucumbers and uh, more lettuce if, if you prefer that. There we go, perfect. And now I'm gonna take my lid, so this part, and I'm just gonna close it up. So I have this here and my screw on top. And this is perfect for lunch time. So I'm all ready to go, have my lunch all packed, and that's it. This is amazing. This is such a genius invention. Whoever invented, I would love to meet you and go for lunch or something and give you a high five. So it's amazing because the dressing stays at the bottom and doesn't touch the leaves until you want it to touch the leaves. So usually when I'm about to eat, I'll like shake it up or put it in a bowl or, and mix it up or something like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed filming it and trying this out and I'm gonna go eat it now because I'm really hungry and it looks delicious. Um, <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like, comment, and please subscribe. It means so much to me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, next week on Wednesday for another Wellness Wednesday. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>